Hello! If you're serious about your scale modelling, you're probably also serious about detail and trying to make your models as realistic as possible. That means you might have encountered PhotoEtch upgrade sets. There's no doubt they're a good way to enhance the realism of your models. They capture certain aspects really well and can improve your model's appearance. The plastic used in injection moulded model kits has limitations when it comes to reproducing certain intricate features. That's where something like PhotoEtch comes in. If you're trying to get certain items like tool clamps to look better than the plastic stock parts, PhotoEtch can do a good job. However, there are a number of problems. First of all, working with PhotoEtch can be extremely fiddly and frustrating. Detaching and cleaning up the parts can be tedious. Bits fly off and disappear into the ether. And you need special tools to get a decent result. When it comes to fixing them onto your model, you're looking at using super glues, epoxies or solder, none of which are straightforward. For some aftermarket accessories, resin products can come to the rescue. But with certain intricate or complex items, like these tool clamps, resin just won't work, and it's way too fragile to cast into shapes or hollows like this. That's where the new kid on the block could help you. 3D printing is a relatively new technique and it's starting to find its place in our hobby. And this is a case in point. Here we have some 3D printed accessories from MJ Miniatures. They're a new product and they have been sent to us by Hysterex agents for review. There are two references. One is 35001 and features those typical German clamps and tool accessory attachment points seen on World War II German vehicles. And that one's called World War II German Clamp Tool Set and it's in 1 35th scale. The other reference is 35002 and features US tool tie downs like you might see on the rear deck of any US military vehicle. It's called World War II US Clamp Tool Set and it's in 1 35th scale. In each case there are a variety of designs and plenty of pieces to use on your project. The US set contains about 170 pieces and two designs. They really accurately show the fabric belt and loops used to secure tools like spades or pickaxes in place. What's neat is they also feature the metal tie down hoops that are a feature of the design. The German set meanwhile has way more variety reflecting the different styles and designs exclusive to German vehicles. Where relevant the set also carries both early and late variants with helpful indications printed onto the set itself. We quite like the conception of the pieces, allowing you to snap off what you need from the main board of parts. So what about the all important level of detail, compared to say a plastic or photo etch part? As you can see the detail is pretty impressive, way better than plastic and way less fragile than resin. The 3D printing process does show some very fine rendering lines on certain faces if you're really looking for it, but it's pretty marginal and may well disappear under a coat of paint or primer. If you're really concerned about it, you can fill and sand using something like Mr. Surfacer. However, most people won't be too concerned. It's all definitely highly detailed, easy to work with and a pleasing material to handle and use. Is it thinner and more detailed than PhotoEtch for this particular application? Well, no. But you don't need all the bending tools that PhotoEtch requires or the level of dexterity of a master jeweler. So how easy are they to work with and how do you actually use them? Detaching them from the runners shouldn't cause too much of a headache for an experienced modeler and the usual assortment of evergreen modeling tools will work. It's definitely a right way and a wrong way to go about extricating each part and the box goes some way to illustrate that. The US ones are comparably easier. You could try just chopping them off with a cutter and sanding down but that risks damaging the delicate horizontal detail of the tie downs. Instead use a sharp craft blade or razor saw to delicately cut away the piece. Once free, tidy up with a sharp blade. Even if the material is stronger than resin, there will be some breakages and wastage. This is especially the case with the German tool clamps. We found the best way was to carefully cut away each attachment point on the delicate latches one by one, then detach the main piece to sand down or trim further. You can sand them down and clean up using sanding sticks or needle files. 
A good tip is to use fine tweezers to hold the piece and gently rub it against a sanding stick where you want to clean up. Each of the German designs requires a slightly different technique to detach, but all can be cleaned up easily. Here you can see an assortment of pieces. They certainly are impressive and compare well with their counterparts in plastic. They also give brass versions a run for their money. Mainly is they're undoubtedly easier to handle and manipulate. The real question is how do they look and how can you attach them to a vehicle? To demonstrate this we use this Tamiya 135th scale King Tiger kit and temporarily attach them using tacky wax from Deluxe Materials, a short term fixing product that can be washed away with water. Here you can see how they look. To fix them permanently you can use super glues, white glues and epoxy glues or putties. When it comes to fitting the hollow pieces to tools, whether they are in resin or plastic, you need to carefully sand down any moulded fastening detail first. If you cannot fit the tools through the holes, you will have to cut them at a suitable point. Apply the clamp or fabric loop and then carefully reattach the two parts of the tool. As you can see, it is possible to do this without too much damage if you're careful. You can of course also show the fasteners on a vehicle without the tools and many crews removed items of stowage to prevent loss or theft. Overall the effect is realistic and well worth the effort of a small amount of work. It's a great idea to harness this new exciting technology for such a specific and challenging area. The material can break but the level of detail and sheer number of parts in the set means that once you get the hang of these items you'll use them again and again. They are more complex than using a plastic kit part but a whole lot easier than agonising over tiny pieces of photo etched brass. We're certainly impressed and we will use them going forwards. Don't forget these and thousands of other useful modelling products are available now from Hysterex agents. Don't hesitate to get a set for your next modelling project and thanks to them for the sample. So why not take a break from fiddly photo etch and give these a try. Until the next time, bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.